Good morning, Okie Dokie Explorers. It is Steve, Hi. Catherine, and Whitney. Because we forgot Pilot. her. And Pilot. <laughs> and we are on our way to Knowles, Oklahoma. Knowles is a ghost town or not a ghost town? It is a ghost town. It is a ghost town. However, there is several people that still live there. There is a Beaver County Yard that is there, I think, for the um, maintenance peoples. And there is awesome uh, scenery and beautiful roads north of there. You can't see them from the edge of town, but I know they're there because I've been there before. So, yeah, you really have to get off the highway and you gotta get off the highway, or else you'd never know they were there. So, welcome to. I'm sorry. Am I not? Am I not getting you enough in the camera? Is he not in frame? He's not in frame enough. Are we going to need to hear from his manager? Yes, okay. we might need to. Because the agent is going to complain. Yes, he's like, be sure to get my good side. Good side. Okay. Okay. Well, buckle up with us as we go for an adventure this morning. Northwest Oklahoma Panhandle's version of Cadillac Ranch. Truck's been out there in graffiti down to how many times and it's down there. It was kind of cool. Yeah. Get the good side of my nose. Haven? Camp Luther Haven. That would be the uh, camp that my dad was taking pictures of. Yep. We should be on our way past there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Knowles, like many other towns in Oklahoma, has moved its location and changed its name. Incorporated as Sands City in 1906, it moved about a half mile eastward in 1912 at the time the Wichita Falls and Northwestern Railroad laid its tracks through eastern Beaver County. The post office, with the name of Knowles, was established in Sand City before the founding of Knowles. The new city of Knowles soon became a trading, marketing, and shipping center for eastern Beaver and western Harper counties. In 1909, Sand City had nine business establishments. In 1913, Knowles had 30. In that four-year period, the population increased from 25 to 254 persons. In addition to the various stores, the town had a good bank, an excellent grade school and high school system, active churches, and the widely read Farmer's News. Around town was some of the best farming land in the state. Most farms had small orchards and all had gardens. Knowles was a growing agricultural center. The 1930s, however, changed all of that. The Depression ruined many farmers economically, and during the Dust Bowl period, many saw their farms blow away. The most severe dust storm recorded started on Sunday, April 14, 1935. That day, a reddish-brown cloud moved over Knowles from the northwest. Light from the sun was blotted out, and visibility was reduced to a few feet. The storm continued into the following day. Stores were closed, school was canceled, driving ceased, and meetings were postponed. Those who had to go outside wore masks to protect their mouth and nose and goggles to protect their eyes. In the mid-1950s, such dust storms again developed until they were a common occurrence. The town of Knowles now struggles for existence, but that struggle appears to be a losing cause. So many people have moved from the community that the schools are closed, the railroad has been abandoned, and the tracks removed, and only the post office continues to operate. 
U.S. Highway 64 borders the eastern edge of the town and cars speed by to larger towns and cities. Knowles is a victim of farm consolidation and the return to ranching, advancing agricultural technology, improved highway transportation, and the weather. The town is almost surrounded entirely by a single ranch. bald tires <laughs> as opposed to the really cool trail terrains that Doki is sporting. for watching guys and if you enjoyed this please like subscribe follow us on social media and leave us a comment